start recording. <clears throat> well, welcome everybody. Um, my name is Jared Covilli. I'm the administrator over digital teaching and learning. We are excited to have you as part of our presentation today and coming in so that you can see just a little bit about uh, what we have to offer you next week at the USAC conference. We're excited that so many of you are able to go and participate. We hope that you again have a wonderful time at USAC if you've been in the past. Um, we hope that you have a great time this year as well. During the next few minutes, we're just gonna share with you a little bit about how to organize yourself and get ready for USAC, as well as once you get to the venue, some of the things that you can expect to see and encounter while you're there. So uh, we'll be sharing with you some ideas and different members of the digital learning team will be part of this. Maybe just a question while we kind of get started. If you want to in the chat, can you just tell us um, if with this year's conference included, how many times have you attended USET? Maybe you could put if you've only gone a couple of times or if you've gone more than 10 times just so we get a sense of maybe a little bit about who's in the room and kind of what their experience level is with attending USET. While you do that, I'm gonna load some slides and we'll get started. Okay. Let me get my chat up so I can see some of your responses. Sorry about that. So it looks like some of us are going for the first time, but we have a lot of return customers to USET. So we hope that you get, all get some of the fun things out of USET that you've seen in the past. Um, I'm just going to ask anyone who wants to open up their microphone to kind of tell us a little bit. Um, what are you looking forward to when you attend USET and specifically you set this coming week. So what are you looking forward to at you set next week? If anybody wants to turn on their microphone, happy to let you jump in. If you want to share something in the chat, you can as well. So what do you guys like about you set? Um, Jared, um, this is Deanna, and I like to make all of those new connections or even see some of those old connections that we've made in the past, like teachers from Nebo District or from Alpine, and just getting to know some new people. Oh, that's great. I think a lot of us are so, that way, right? We we like to connect with old friends or make some new ones. So that's great, Deanna, thank you. Anyone else? I love all the ideas that I get. Oh, thanks, Allison. Boy, it's a conference with over about 250 sessions. There's so much different things that you can look at and you can learn while you're at the conference, yeah. I love the free stuff. Boy, there's a lot of free stuff, isn't there, Cindy? Whether it's stuff in the vendor hall or just different prize giveaways that they that they have that the USEP board kind of does. Um, there's a lot of fun free stuff that you can kind of experience there. You bet. Maybe one this more. Is Anyone else? Yeah, go ahead. I'm, I'm I'm a Eric Kurt groupie, so I am super excited to see Eric to listen to Eric Kurt. Kurt, yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, he's one of our featured speakers. He comes to us out of Ohio, but he's a Google guru that a lot of us around the office and throughout the school district have used some of his stuff. So if you haven't heard about Eric, we'll tell you a little bit more about him in just a minute, but he'll be one of the featured speakers at the conference this week. So thank you for everybody sharing those different things about it. Well, today, like I said, we're going to kind of break down our session into three parts. So we'll talk a little bit about, even right now, how can you plan your learning and your experience? And then next week on Tuesday, when you show up or Wednesday, depending on which day you're going, or if you're going both days, um, what are some of the things to pay attention to while you're attending the conference? And then finally, what's part of the experience of USET? So we heard about free stuff and great sessions and all these things. What's some of the things that kind of make USET unique and make it something that um, hopefully keeps us coming back year in, year out? So let's Let's jump in. I got this from ISTE last year. They kind of give you some pointers about when you attend a big conference, what are some things to kind of pay attention to? And their suggestion to get you started is think about some things that you'd like to learn about right now before you even go to the conference. Maybe what's a tool that you're looking for or a strategy that you want to learn more about? 
and maybe you can cater some sessions to meet those needs. I know, for example, in our district, we've got a large population of our STEM specialists that are going, and I'm sure they're looking at their conference based upon some of the things that they're working on, whether it's um, specific robots they want to use or different strategies. So having some specific goals can really help you um, with, with your plans for attending the conference. Um, we're going to show you in just a moment how to use the schedule to plan your days at the conference. So there's a lot of different ways that you can filter our schedule just so that you get the specific things you want to learn about. And as you can imagine, sessions fill up. So sometimes it's really nice to have a backup plan, right? If this one session that you want to go to fills up, what's another backup that you could attend? Uh, even some of the ones that you could watch um, recordings of so you can catch up with something else. I, I love number four. They said, take care of yourself. You know, build in some time to connect with other people and to make sure you have lunch and do all those things and get to experience some of the fun sides of the conference too. So those are also things that you want to know about. And last, maybe plan for the expo hall. We have over 75 vendors that are going to be at USET this year. So go see what they have to offer and see what some of the different things are that they're giving away. Um, like Cindy kind of mentioned, that's a place where you can get the swag, right? So it's fun to go down there and kind of see what's going on around there. Okay, let's talk just a little bit about the conference schedule. So the first thing that I want to show you is if you are online, you can go to uset.org slash conference and you'll see our schedule on that website. Um, it's being produced by the website SCED or Skedge. But the first thing that I might mention to you is filter by strands. So all those little colored dots on the right side of my slide here, those are different ways that you can filter the conference. So you can look at film or coaching or uh, partners or different things. So that will help you to narrow it down to what kinds of sessions you want to look for. You'll also find in that list sometimes a little bit lower that you can filter by whether it's a live session or a virtual session or some of those other things as well. I'll show you that in just a second. But here's an example. If I click on the, the lime green dot that says partner, all of these sessions have a vendor as part of them. I know sometimes I get feedback from people and they say, oh man, I went to this, all I went to were sessions that were vendors. I didn't want to see the vendors. I wanted to see the teachers present. So I would just let you know that if you see a session right now in the schedule that's green, this kind of lime green, there's a good chance there's somebody at that session that's a vendor. So just kind of know that going in that um, you may want to avoid that if that's something you're not interested in. The second way that you can organize your schedule or filter it is up in the top, you can search for a person. So if there's a specific person that you want to look for or a specific keyword, you can search for them by name and see what sessions they're doing. So let's use an example. We've got Kira in here from our department. If I type in her last name, Bettis, and do a search in that box, you can see that I'll get three different sessions that she's involved in. And it kind of shows you the days and the times that those are going on. So that's a really good way if you know somebody that you'd like to see um, to search for them by name. We'll show you in a minute some of the different um, Jordan School District sessions that we have going on this year. Last, there's another built button inside the filter, and this is the same whether you're online or on your phone. There's a button that just has these three little um, bars that you can filter your sessions, and that will give you a lot of different options. Again, you can filter it by date. You can filter it by venue. Um, you can filter it again by session strand. And like I mentioned, if you go all the way to the bottom of these lists, you'll see these little tag markers, and those tag markers let you pick style meaning in person virtual uh, recorded you know audience teacher administrator what you know what role you play in the school so you'll find a lot of that um, that you can filter and kind of learn more about what sessions you want to take there and then again on your mobile device um, if you download the sketch app you can see down in my lower right corner it has a little astronaut on it but this is the official conference app so if you download that, when you click on it, you have to log in. So you, they, we used your Jordan District email to log you, to sign you up. Um, the first time you do it, you may have to put in a password. So you may have to choose a password for it. But after that, you can arrange your schedule, click on the sessions that you want to attend, 
and then you can kind of keep track of your own schedule for throughout the two days. So as you pick different sessions that you're thinking of attending, you can mark that you'd like to attend a session and then it will keep track of it for you. So you do have to be signed in to do that though. So just kind of keep that in mind if you wanna have a schedule that's yours specifically. Well, just wanted hey, to give Jared. you- Oh yeah, go ahead. Um, I just mentioned that there is actually a USET 23 app um, it looks exactly the same as schedule, but then, then instead of having to, you would actually be able to see the schedule without signing in. You still can sign in to see your schedule, but there's an app on the app store just that's you set 23. Sounds great. Thanks, Colby, for that. Yeah. So, and you don't have to sign in to see the, the schedule, but if you want to customize it for yourself, that's when you have to sign in. So thanks for that, Colby. Well, if you're new to the conference this year, we're going to be down in Provo again. So the conference center is at the Utah Valley Convention Center. It's on the corner of um, Second West and Center Street in Provo. And for most people, I'm just gonna say, if you want free parking, I've kind of put an arrow on here, but just north of the conference or the convention center is the Smiths and they have kind of their main parking lot. And then there's kind of an extended parking lot on the south end of the Smiths parking lot there where it's free parking. So if you wanna, walk a couple of blocks. Um, you can see it's not terribly far, but um, you can park for free at the Smith's parking lot there. So just wanted to make sure you're all aware of that. There is paid parking around the venue as well, but not a ton. So just kind of keep you in mind that um, if, you, if you get there kind of late, you'll be moving further and further out. So just want to make sure everybody's aware of that. When you get to the building, I just wanted to show you just quickly, we're actually going between two buildings again. So the Utah Valley Convention Center on my slide here, it's the L1, L2, and L3. There are three levels to it. You can see on the main level is the expo hall or where the vendors are at. On the second level, that's where you can go to larger sessions. And then on the third level, that's where you'll find um, breakout sessions. So that's kind of what you can see on those three levels. On the, uh, on the slide as well, you'll see the Marriott Hotel. That's just across the street from the UVCC on the east. And that's where you can find several other rooms where we do sessions as well. So you can see that in kind of the, um, on the south side of that uh, hotel, there's several ballrooms that we're using for, um, for the conference as well. So I just wanted to give you a quick look at that. Well, um, I wanna spend just a moment talking about how you can connect with other Jordan School District educators and kind of do a few things to help you get more out of your conference. One thing we would always give you as advice if you're not the only person going from your school is talk to some of the other members of your school that are attending and plan what sessions you're going to go to. That's a great way to make sure that as a school you get more bang for your buck so you're not all headed to the same session every time, but you can kind of work through that a little bit. I mentioned second. You know, there's a lunch break in the schedule for about an hour and a half each day. Make sure you plan of where you want to go to lunch. Um, I'm kind of curious in the chat, anyone got a suggestion of a place to go eat down in Provo that you would recommend to others? We'll give you a second to maybe slap in a name of a place. I know um, a lot of our office, uh, we're more breakfast people, it sounds like, but we kind of right across the street from the convention center is... Uh, Herska's kolaches down there. So if you like a good kolache, that's right next to the venue. But by lunchtime, they'll probably be sold out. So you probably can't get one at lunch. But but that's right near the convention center. So we'll look in the chat in a minute to see if anybody's got a food suggestion there for us. Um, the next thing that I put in the slide deck is, you know, connect with others using social media. So I'll show you in just a second the hashtags that we have for the conference. Um, that you can use to kind of share out your experience. And finally, we have several Jordan School District presenters. Um, I haven't listed all of the presentations, but just the ones that are coming from our department. But I'm gonna just take a second and um, let everybody in our department kind of share with you what we're doing at the conference. So um, if any of you in the audience, that I know a lot of us are in here, you wanna say something about your session, Deanna, I'll let you take over first if you wanna say anything about your session. Okay, mine is a poster session. That means it's going to be set up, I think, on the second level. And you just drop by, ask questions. I'll have a QR code for a website I've created um, using Nearpod tools um, in a minute for formative assessment. Show you some of the things that I've created. 
Love it. And that's going to be on Tuesday. Okay. For, it's a two hour block. So you can walk around and see all the different poster sessions on Tuesday. Okay, next, Tracy. I don't know if Tracy's still here. I am. Oh, good. Uh, mine's a, yeah, mine's a poster session. It's um, going to be about B-Bots and Ozobots and just integrating computer science into the classroom um, with other content areas. And I really focused on social studies because that's one of my favorite content areas. So you can just drop by and um, play with some B-Bots and some Ozobots and scan some QR codes and get some cool information. Oh, that's great, Tracy. So that's a poster session on Tuesday afternoon. Yeah. Uh, next, we've got Larissa. Hello. We are going to be talking about elevating your coaching with the ISTE standards. So we'll be taking the standards like these, these standards, and we are teaching about how we are using those standards to guide our coaching within Jordan School District. And I am partnering with Jared and Colby will be with me on that. And that is on the 15th at 1245. And we will be, it's a presentation sale, not poster. And I think we're at the Marriott, right? Isn't that what we figured out? We are. Yep. yep. We are in the Marriott. So we'll have to go across the street to us. Ross. Um, I'll be doing two sessions. Um, one will be on Tuesday at 315 uh, you'll see there it's at the second level and it's elevate your voice via podcast and this is um, with the utah um, teacher fellows group and so if you want to come learn how to do a podcast and uh, that's what that session is about the second session is learn platform and how it has changed in george school district and this one is um now it's changed it's from it's on the 15th but it's from one to three it's a poster session and it's not at the marriott anymore it's in the main convention center on the second floor oh, that's um, right it has changed that sorry about so that. yeah that that changed and so uh, on here so that slide's wrong but that one will just be basically come learn about learn platform and how we use it in jordan district great thanks russ kira Yes, so I have two sessions. Um, one is pre-recorded. It is uh, all about media literacy and visual literacy and, and why it's important and why it matters. The idea is to like have some actual like hands-on session uh, activities that teachers can do um, across the content areas with media literacy. And then the second one is easy ways to start podcasting with your class. That one is actually live <laughs> in person. And the plan for that one is to like talk about pre-recording, recording and like editing, but then also like give teachers time to like practice doing that in the session itself so that they could get a feel for what podcasting is like. Oh, very cool. Bonnie. I'm going to be doing a session on how to take information from a Google Sheet and create an app with a Google Sheet extension called AppSheet. It's a no-code app creator that uses just basic English language, nothing fancy, and doesn't take that long to create an app of your choice. I'm going to be showing two different apps. One of them is a coaching app that coaches could use. And another one is in our department, we use a mileage app. So instead of taking two hours to mm -hmm. fill out our mileage, it takes us 10 seconds. <laughs> so it'll be uh, Google Sheets along with the extension app sheet. And it is pre-recorded. And that will be available on Wednesday at two o'clock. There we go for that. Uh, I'm involved a little bit as well. So uh, Larissa already mentioned the second session that I'm involved with. On Wednesday morning, I'll also be doing a session uh, with CRK and Amy Kinder. We'll be talking about ways that you can elevate your coaching, kind of showing a little bit of what we've done this year through our district coaching program. So if you're interested in that, we would love to have you come drop by. That one's uh, on Wednesday morning at nine o'clock. And Colby. So um, I will be part of the session with Jared and Larissa on Wednesday 
at 12.45, which is what the time says here. But this session, actually, um, the, the future is visual, create visual communication with Canva is happening on Wednesday at 2. Um, and it's in the Marriott. And I'll just be talking about Canva and how, well, I'll be sharing some of the like newer things with Canva, some of my top tips and tricks, and then showing some examples of projects you can get your students doing um, creating visual communication. Well, thank you all for sharing those great sessions. Like I say, there's a lot of uh, sessions from our department. I've also heard about uh, several others from different people. Uh, Linnea out at uh, Fox Hollow is doing a session that I've been told about. We've also got Elise Oregel from Elk Ridge Middle School that's doing a session. So lots of representation for Jordan School District. We hope you have the chance to swing by and see one of our sessions. Well, let's see, let's move, keep it moving here real quick. Um, I mentioned a moment ago that if you want to use social media at the conference, two different hashtags that they're using at this year's conference. So hashtag together at USET or hashtag USET23. Either one of those will tie you into the conversation that's going on online while you're at the conference. So great chance to share pictures and kind of your experience at the conference. I am going to let Kira talk about the next couple of things as we wrap up an experience you set. So Kira, if you want to talk about numbers one and two, and then I'll talk about numbers three and four. Yes. So the Utah Edge Chats and the future speakers. Um, so this year, instead of doing like a traditional keynote for the keynotes, nope, that didn't make sense. Um, <laughs> instead of doing a traditional keynote where you pay lots and lots of money for someone to speak for just like an hour. Um, our USEP president, Matt Winters, kind of switched that on the head. He wanted to spotlight Utah educators across the like educational spectrum um, and do kind of like TED style talks. And so that is what the keynote is. It's called Utah Ed Chats. And it's these uh, speakers. You'll notice the first day we have these five speakers. Um, we have a mixture of state educational leaders like uh, state superintendent Sid Dixon. We also have people like instructional coach Kate Williams from Davis and uh, Cypress High principal Robert McDaniel. So like you can see it's just people across the, the wide landscape of Utah Ed. Um, and then on Wednesday for the final keynote, we also have um, a variety of Utah Ed chat speakers. Um, so think TED Talk style things that they're passionate about in Utah Ed. And I think that'll be really awesome. Um, and then the featured speakers. So instead of paying these guys to be keynotes, we're paying them to be featured speakers. So they're hosting several sessions where um, you get to have a, a little bit more one-on-one -on -one contact with them. Like Bonnie said earlier, we have like Eric Hertz, who is featured a lot at lots of different conferences. Um, and if you attend a session, like you'll have a chance to like, ask them questions and to see um, all of them have, uh, I think, meet and greets scheduled as well. So if you are like super into one of their work, um, you can see their the UEN booth will have their books for sale and you'll also have a chance to get them to sign your books. Um, we have, so across the top there, we have Eric Kurtz, Dan Ryder, Micah Shippey. Across the bottom there, we have D. Lanier and Darren Hudgens. Um, and if you want to know more information about them, like I've been putting it out on social media all week. So there it's out there. Um, but then we also have the Utah Teacher Fellows as like featured spe speakers at the conference who have a whole slate of sessions as well with teacher leadership in Utah. Um, and then, oh yes, featured spaces that you set. So these are in different areas of the conference that uh, Matt has brought in that we think are really a cool opportunities for teachers to engage with different things at the conference. So uh, the first in the corner there, you lead education. Um, they are, I don't know how to describe them. They're kind of connected to USBE, but they're supposed to be like a clearinghouse research stage. They're meant to spotlight innovative practices happening in Utah, and they're kind of getting started. So um, if you attend the Highlight Hive that you lead is sponsoring, they have um, different districts, different LEAs across Utah that are going to be talking about the innovative practices in their um, schools. So it's a great opportunity to see like actual hands-on practices that are happening in Utah. 
Uh, UEN is sponsoring a really fun photo booth. So if you're a social media person like me, um, I, I'm not sure what it's going to be, but I was told that it was going to be a cool photo booth. So check that out. Um, and I mentioned UEN is going to have like book signings and stuff of some of our featured speakers. Uh, the STEM Action Center is hosting a makerspace in the expo hall. So if you are all about that STEM life, check out the makerspace section. It's, it's a chance to get your hands dirty and like um, make something at the conference and engage with the resources that the STEM Action Center has available for Utah teachers. Um, the Utah Film Center is hosting, a, they have a whole ballroom with tons of sessions about how to use film and media literacy in your classrooms. They also will have film screenings during lunches both days um, and there'll be snacks. People can eat while they watch the films from the Utah Film Center. Um, I was able to attend some professional development from the Utah Film Center last year, and I love them. So they highly recommended. Um, oh, and then the last thing, this is for all the uh, English nerds out there. Um, the Friends of the Salt Lake County Library are going to be hosting a used book sale. So books that are discarded from Utah or Salt Lake County libraries. Um, There'll be lots of books there for super cheap. So swing by their booth in the expo hall and see if there's anything that you want to add to your classroom library. Thanks, Kara. That's lots of great options there for people as you kind of explore some of the different partners that are part of USED. Um, and I think we're really going to like having, instead of just a couple of keynotes, a lot of people involved this year on the big stage. So plenty of opportunity for you to hear from uh, different voices across Utah education. Uh, Bonnie just shared with me in the chat that her session is actually going to be live instead of pre-recorded. So again, that's Wednesday at two o'clock. You'll find Bonnie doing that. Um, create an app with App Sheet Live on on that day. Um, one other thing that we have going on around the conference uh, is Goose Chase. If you don't know what that is, there was just an email sent out about it. I think either last night or this morning, but it's kind of an interactive game that you can play while you're at the conference. Goose Chase is an app, so you have to download the app and then search for USET, and you'll start to see challenges that are released that you can participate in if you want to. So they can be little things like take a picture of your badge when you get your badge or when you upload your schedule or make some you know selections on your conference. You can use those, and the Goose Chase is the way that we give away prizes at USET. So if you participate oh. in Goose Chase, you can win some prizes. Go ahead, Kara. I wanted to add Goose Chase isn't the only way to win prizes that you set um, because some people don't like the gamified version of it. So also this year in ballrooms A, B, and C, if you attend the sessions that are in those areas, those venues, there's door prizes each hour. So uh, ballroom A is where the Utah Film Center is going to be. If you go to one of their sessions, there's door prizes. Bottom B is um, partner chats. So kind of like the keynote, um, there are vendors who are gonna be sharing short, like quick sessions about new ed tech things that are available for uh, teachers to use. Um, door prize is available in that one as well. And then uh, Ballroom C is um, Utah ed chats that aren't on the keynote stage. So they are focused on like more specific topics in Utah ed. So like there's a whole hour on PCBL and you have uh, like five to six educators that are gonna be talking in those like short TED style sessions. Um, there's one on, I know the fellows are doing an hour of the Utah ed chat. So like, if you like that style, um, if you attend in ballroom C, there's also an opportunity to win prizes each hour. Thank you, Kara. So lots of great options to, to come away with a big prize. Um, next slide that I wanted to share with you is something that we're doing. So if you've been to USET before, you know that they have a button giveaway. So on this slide, you'll see we are sponsoring a JSD Yeti button as we've been journeying up the mountain of Everest this year. We actually have several different collector's items for this uh, collection of buttons. So if you want to get yourself a JSD Yeti button, you can probably get one from any of our team as you find us roaming about. But if you check in in the vendor hall, uh, Ray Jean Berry is our admin assistant. She's going to be part of the button 
area. So when you go into the vendor hall, you'll find a space where you can make buttons and kind of find buttons and trade buttons. Regine will be there with our Yeti buttons. And this year we're doing something else that's kind of fun. We're giving away a USET t-shirt for all of you. Uh, it's our Yeti shirt. So you can get a, a Jordan JSD Yeti t-shirt. Now we are asking you that you wear that t-shirt on day two of the conference. So we're trying to flood the conference with our Jordan t-shirt. So if you signed up for a t-shirt, um, you'll get first grab at them based on the size that you selected. If you didn't sign up for a t-shirt, we ordered enough for everybody who's going, but you'll just kind of have to get the leftovers a little bit towards the end of the day on Tuesday or the beginning of the day on Wednesday. So um, make sure though that you grab a t-shirt because we want you to participate and wear that. On uh, Wednesday afternoon, I'm sorry, I didn't put this in a second slide, but on level three of the UVCC, we're actually going to try and take a Jordan photo with everybody wearing their shirt. So if you want to meet with us on level three on Wednesday at 1230, we'll be wearing our Yeti t-shirts for a great JSD photo shoot. So hopefully we can get that picture on the JSD website for uh, all of you who participated in our conference this coming week. Well, that's what we have for you today. Hopefully. Um, you got to see some things of what you can do at the conference. Um, you're hopefully getting some ideas of how you can apply some of this learning to your job, and you're setting some goals for yourself as you go to attend USET. Um, that's all the presentation that we have. We'll just maybe leave it open if any of you have specific questions that you want to ask or put in the chat. I appreciate Cindy put down a couple of places to go eat, Guru's Cafe, uh, Ma's Artisan Pizza and Sensuous Sandwich. Boy, those all sound good. So anybody have any specific questions they want to ask um, before we wrap up today? Okay, well, we are excited to see you next week at USET. If anything comes up, feel free to shoot any of us an email. We'll do our best to help you make the most of your conference but we appreciate you participating with us today so hopefully we will see you next week at USET.